Hey there, long time no see. I am back again and I'm going to be making more videos um, in 2022. I've upgraded to a better phone with more memory so that I will have the capacity to make videos more often. Um, the phone I had before just had a tiny little bit of memory and anytime I tried to make or edit a video, my phone would tell me, you don't have enough storage space and I'd have to delete a bunch of stuff and it was very frustrating. So now I've upgraded to a better phone, better camera, better video, and way more memory than I could ever possibly need. So here I am today in uh, Mableton, Georgia at Heritage Park, which is my general go-to when I don't have a lot of time, but I need to get in a very quick hike. Uh, All Trail says it's 3.3 miles round trip, so it's about a mile and a half out and a mile and a half back-ish, because we all know how All Trails app is not exactly the most accurate thing in the world. Um, but this is a good little park. It's not very hilly at all. It's just a, a quick little hike, good to do when I need to get my weekly hike in, don't have a lot of time, can't drive far, just boom, 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 done. Um, better a couple miles outside than, than none at all. So with that said, I'm going to start walking and I'll take you all along with me. Right, so here we are at the Heritage Park parking lot. Um, not particularly huge parking lot, it's adequate. There's a little pavilion down there that does have restrooms, water fountain, etc. With a little, uh, I don't know if you can see it through the trees. There's another little pavilion out there, kind of like an overlook thing. Um, not really much to overlook, just trees in the creek, but it's nice with benches and stuff. And then here we have the trailhead. This was one of the first trails I went on when I first started hiking. They have all kinds of signs about all kinds of plants. So if you're into plants and identifying them, this is a neat little place to be. rained here earlier and it's supposed to rain again so I'm trying to get this done pretty quick but I do have my poncho with me of course Let's see down there's a little creek river Ooh, I heard a woodpecker. I don't know if the phone picked that up, but yeah, there's a woodpecker. I don't see him, but he's up there somewhere. Hopefully y'all can hear that. Very cool. Funny, he doesn't sound anything like the cartoon. You know, when I first got on this trail, I remember how hard it was for me. This nice little, mostly flat trail. I 
you know, when I first started hiking, I weighed 255 pounds and it would take me close to an hour or more to just walk a mile on the flat surface. So I'm very thankful to God for how far he has brought us. Here's a nice little bench. I gotta say, I love Georgia because here it is the 9th of January and it's 56 degrees outside. Pretty awesome. And here's this little walkway here that goes over a creek. Now this little walkway is nice, but as I learned during the fall, wet leaves on this walkway are very slippery and it's really easy to fall. Trust me, if there's a way to fall, I will find it. See, one cool thing about being in nature is that you can hike the same trail all year round and it's never really quite exactly the same. It's the same, but it's different. Now me, my little ADHD brain, I tend to get bored very easily and I tend to avoid repeating the same places over and over again if I can help it. Um, <clears throat> But the cool thing is, like I said, it's different year round, month to month, week to week. It's always going to be a little bit different. Now this whole trail is not boardwalk. This is only just a segment of it. And then we have this little swamp looking thing here. Somewhere on this trail, there's a geocache. I can't remember if I was able to to actually find it. I don't think I was. That's my other New Year's resolution. Besides making more hiking videos, I'm gonna get back into geocaching again. I haven't done that in probably a year. Again, because I didn't really have a good phone. So I'm gonna stop recording now and hike some more and I'll be back later. Okay, and here we are at another bridge on this trail. And let's see if I can flip this camera around. All right, so here we are at this bridge that's at the beginning of the trail. And it goes over this cool creek here. Very pretty, very soothing. Can never go wrong where there's a creek or a river. And this also ends the boardwalk part and puts us back out onto the dirt. So one other neat thing about this little trail here if I recall correctly, towards the end of it, it actually intersects with the Silver Comet Trail, which is a 60-something mile paved trail that I think actually goes all the way to Alabama, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but it goes far. It's, you know, it's a nice, long, very paved trail, very popular with uh, walkers and bicyclists and such. Um, I personally hate walking on pavement. My feet don't like it, my knees don't like it, my back doesn't like it. And the part of me that despises cities in general really doesn't like it. So it's there, it's cool. A lot of geocaches hidden on it, so I'll go there for that sometimes. But uh, 
not my first choice for going on walks. If I'm going to be walking, I'd rather be walking in the woods. But anyway, there's a random factoid that this trail does toward the end intersect with the Silver Comet Trail. You can get on one, you know, I can get on the Silver Comet Trail from here, or I can get on here from the Silver Comet Trail. So it's just a neat little intersection for those who may find that interesting. Now this here is new, so this wasn't here last time I was here. Of course, last time I was here was several months ago. Okay, and here we are 1.1 miles into the trail, so we are almost at the very end. Walking along next to this little creek here. Which is, of course, very beautiful. Nice little bit of peace even amidst the uh, traffic noises. As much as I don't like hiking where I can hear traffic noises, I am immensely thankful that I can hike even though there's traffic noises. That there are these little parks interspersed throughout the city <clears throat> for us to use. So I am very thankful for that. And a neat little pavilion. Okay, so 1.4 miles into the trail, we end up here. And this here is a uh, ruins from, gosh, Civil War time era, maybe shortly afterwards. Somewhere in that area. This used to be part of a paper mill, I believe. There are other parks in the area that have even more ruins than this. Um, Soap Creek Trail, I believe, in Marietta has a lot more ruins. Similar to this, but more. And being that I love old stuff and historical stuff, this spot always makes me very happy. Okay, and here we are at the end of the Heritage Park Trail, and it spits us out right here on the Silver Comet Trail. Nice paved trail, walking, bicycling, whatever you prefer. Also a neat little uh, history tour you can do on your phone and if you're into geocaching I know for a fact there's a ton of geocaches on the Silver Comet Trail so I'm gonna have to come back at some point try to find a few more of those but here we are at the end so now I'm just gonna go turn around and go right back to where I started from according to my app we are right at 1.6 miles and by we I mean me I don't know why I keep saying we when it's literally just me. Me and whatever critters and other people are out here, I suppose. But whatever. Anyway, back we go. We are by the creek again. I have made it back to my car, uh, 3.2 miles total round trip, and uh, like I said, it's a nice little hike for when you want to just do something real quick, don't have a lot of time, but you want to get a hike done. Neat little trail. And there was something I was thinking about while I was hiking, you know, at the beginning of the video, I talked about how when I first started hiking, I was over 100 pounds overweight, and I was very, very slow. Um, could only hike a mile in 
an hour, maybe longer than an hour. I don't remember, but it took forever. Um, and it was just very, very difficult when I first started hiking. Now, I'm still slow. You know, I've lost 95 pounds, but I'm still slow. Not that slow, but yeah, I'm not the fastest person in the world. But you know what? That's actually not the point. Um, the point isn't how fast you go. It's that you're going, that you're doing it one step at a time. So if that's you, maybe you're just starting out hiking. Maybe you're coming back to it. Maybe you're really overweight. Maybe you're just out of shape. Maybe you're an athlete, whatever. But the important thing is don't let yourself get discouraged. Um, even if you are overweight, even if you are slow, even if you are whatever, just keep going. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And if it takes you two or three hours to go half a mile, so what? The joy is in the journey and the experience of each moment, moment by moment, step by step. That's the important part. You know, this moment is all we have. So don't worry about, you know, where you're going to be 30 minutes from now. Just focus on now and enjoy right now and do what you can right now and just keep doing it. And over time, you'll surprise yourself and you'll improve and feel better and you'll just be surprised at how amazing life is as long as you don't quit that's the important thing you know time plus consistency equals results and you can do it just keep moving one step at a time all right well i'm going to head back home and put this video together and i will talk to you all later till next time bye for now